Welcome back, everyone. Well, after a flurry of activities last few days, we're now down to one active system that we're tracking here. Uh, this is uh, Tropical Storm Franklin here in the satellite. This is the enhanced IR satellite imagery here. Um, if you're having trouble orient, this is um, Dominican Republic, Haiti, Cuba, and Florida is off here, off the map here. But look at this really heavy rainfall. We talked about this yesterday, how the heaviest rainfall was going to be focused on the Dominican Republic, and you can really see this materializing. These bright um, temperatures here, are cold cloud tops, are indicating very, very, very heavy rainfall. And in fact, we, we anticipate that this continuing um, over the, the next day or so because the storm is moving so slowly, right now moving off to the north uh, slowly, uh, and then as it emerges away from the from the coastline here uh, off in the Atlantic, and I'll talk about that in a second, but really quick, I wanna show you the existing tropical storm warnings, this blue area here, basically the southern coast of Haiti, southern coast of Dominican Republic, the northern coast of Dominican Republic, and the Turks and Caicos. So as this system uh, moves over the mountainous terrain of Dominican Republic upwards of 10 to 15 inches of rainfall. Some of that is already occurring. So potential for flash flooding, mudslides, is a really hazardous uh, situation unfolding for the Dominican Republic. Now, the question before us is what happens as the storm moves out into the Atlantic. You can see this somewhat unusual track here. Let me, um, let me explain that for you. So it's, it's moving off to, uh, to, the, to the east, turning off to the east there as it interacts with the trough here over the western United States, um, I mean the western Atlantic. But at some point, big high pressure out here over the central Atlantic effectively stops that eastward progress and turns it back to the north. Um, and conditions at this point look conducive for it to potentially strengthen into a hurricane. So you here in Bermuda, we have to really keep close tabs on this system. It's too soon to say whether there will be any potential impacts for you in Bermuda, but you need to be watching this closely as a potential hurricane with 105 mile per hour winds on early next week in your vicinity. Also, for us here in the eastern United States, we're not looking at a direct impact, but a hurricane in this area, especially a strengthening hurricane, will produce big waves, ship them off to the west, increasing the chance of rip currents along the east coast of the United States. So if you've got beach plans next week, you really want to stay tuned to this. We uh, unfortunately lose a lot of people in rip current deaths for, with hurricanes off the, um, the east coast of the United States. So stay tuned if you've got beach plans next week going to the beach to see if this threat unfolds. That is it for us today. We will provide updates, uh, interim updates at hurricanes.gov and we will do these video briefings as necessary to provide you the latest information.